Shalom, Hallelujah of all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, the Taurus is word. So I got this, uh, uh, this article at TASS.com, uh, uh, Russian news agency. Basically, Iran is ready to join the BRICS. So this is just, uh, you know, more prophecy coming to pass. A sure word of prophecy, man. Because the scriptures talk about how Russia is going to be a guard, you know, unto Iran. So, you know, this is just more proof positive of, of, of the scriptures. And how, you know, these prophecies are coming to pass, man. I'm just entitled, stated uh, last week, June 13th, Iranian president says his country ready to join the BRICS, you know, this country is ready to join the BRICS. Uh, Ibrahim Rizi also pointed to the need to reform the United Nations, primarily the UN Security Council. The Iranian President Ibrahim Rizi emphasized the growing role of regional organizations in shaping a new multipolar world addressing a meeting with Venezuelan youth in Caracas on Tuesday. Therefore, we have joined the Shanghai Corporation organization and expressed our readiness to join BRICS, Razi said in a live broadcast on a state TV channel. The Iranian president also pointed out, pointed to the need to reform the United Nations, primarily the U.S., or the UN Security Council. Uh, today it's an organization of governments, but it should become an organization of peoples. We have the BRICS, it just stands for, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China. Yeah. So uh, basically they formed that union, you know, to, uh, to compete with NATO, you know. But uh, the scriptures talk about how, you know, Russia is going to be a, a guard unto Iran. So that's something that we have to look out for. This is uh, Ezekiel 38, uh, 3. Thus saith the Lord power, behold, I'm against the God, Chief Prince Meshach and Tubal. That God talking about Russia. And I'll turn you back and put hooks in thy jaws. And we saw that prophecy earlier, you know, this year. Or I think it was like maybe last year. When the Russia launched that war against Ukraine to get Ukraine back, you know, that was them putting hooks in their jaws and bringing them back to that war, that war state, you know. And all that army, horses, horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Now Persia, Persia representing uh, Iran. Gomer and all his bands at House of Turgamal, the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, prepare thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So yeah, Russia is going to be a guard unto those little those nations, Iran. Now they're going to be a guard to them because they're joining the BRICS, you know. They're officially going to join that BRICS union. Yeah, it's just more, you know, prophecy and how the Bible is the one true book that we should be into, you know. Uh, next scripture is 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I've put in thy mouth said the Lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true yeah you know this word is faithful and true man you can't compare this book to any other book because these have these prophecies that actually you know come to pass it has also historical figures as well so that proves the validity of the scriptures man let me just have a a few more prophecies left to go, man. Mainly that uh, that chip, you know, that implantable device. Mar 
Next scripture to Isaiah 34 to 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want him mate. For my mouth, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Yes, I seek ye out the book of the Lord book of the Lord and read none of these shall fail none of these prophecies man and we're seeing these prophecies play out you know more and more as we are, are approaching the end you know none shall want her mate and you can't compare any other book you're not gonna want to read other books man like the Quran and all that they don't have the prophecies in there man so this is the one true book that we should be into, man. Seek out the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. Yeah, these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. There's a few more left, mainly. You know, Chip, World War III, and the time of Jacob's trouble. And we see that approaching fast, you know. You know, the uh, famine of the word. We see that coming, you know. Well, soon the prophets won't be on the streets no more. And that's when you know it's go time, man. Scriptures on Second Peter 1 18. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, unto the day and the day star arise in your hearts. Yes, and listen, we also have more, a sure word of prophecy. This is a sure word, man. We believe wholeheartedly in these scriptures, man. In these prophecies. But not everybody has that faith, man. Because that faith, you know, is a gift. You know, we're called, or will, you know, you're, you're chosen. That's what it's about, you know, being chosen. And staying in the spirit all times man no matter what what it is that you're going through no matter what chastisements you're going through the ailments you're going through whatever hell you're catching you know that you stay in this faith all the way up to the end and endure unto the end whatever the Lord put you through man you have to pray pray for that strong mind and then whatever measure measure of faith you were given you live up to it Scriptures, uh, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So you don't want to leave this book, man. You don't want to leave the law. Keep it to the best of your ability. You know, keep the faith. Stay close to the water. It says, but they keep it shall come to life, but as leave it shall die. The ones that leave this book, the ones that leave this faith, you know, they're going to die, you know. So you want to pray for strength, you know. And turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou may be illuminated. Last scripture is uh, Philippians 2 and 14. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked, perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Yeah, you shine as lights, we just read, you know. And you may be illuminated. You walk in this truth, you're going to shine as a light, you're going to be illuminated. You know, holding forth the word of life that it may rejoice in the day of the Most High, in the day of the Lord, that I have not run in vain, you have labored in vain. Uh, you don't want to put off this truth, this word, and labor in vain, man. You want to run this race, you know, to the, to the end, you know, the race that they given to the swift. 
You gotta pace yourself. Uh, but yeah, let's flip that. NLT. It says, I hold firmly to the word of life. Then on the day of Yahweh Shai's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless. Yes, when Yahweh Shai comes back, then you want to be, you want to have that confidence, you know. That you did this work to the best of your ability, that you held out to the to the very end, man. Because you want to be, you know, you want to be how shy to, to be proud of you. You know, you want the Lord most high to be proud of you in this thing, man. Yeah, I just want to bring out this small little article. You know, Iran is joining the BRICS, you know, so it means Russia's going to be a guard unto them now. Fulfilling, you know, Ezekiel 38. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet, you know. Be thou prepared and prepare thyself, O thou, and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be a guard unto them. And so it's like that prophecy is coming to pass. Uh, yeah, for that World War Three, you know. The last prophecy, the last major prophecy, man, over there in the Middle East, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Yahweh Shabbat, you know, Yahweh's judgment in the Middle East. So, you gotta keep your eyes glued to the news, you know, the geopolitics, what's going on in the world, man. You know, watch as well as pray. And with that, shalom on.